In this video, I'm going to show you how you can purchase Shiba, Leech, or even Bone right through your Trust Wallet, connecting through the Wallet Connect through Shiba Swap step by step. Let's go ahead and do this. My name is Adam Shelton, and thank you for watching the video today. Go ahead and hit that bell notification, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's go ahead and dive into this because I'm excited about it. So, the first thing you want to do is, of course, connect to your wallet. But first, before we connect to your wallet, make sure you have the Trust Wallet downloaded. Now, I have it here. I'm going to go right to it right now, and I'm going to it. That's the Trust Wallet. That's what it looks like. You can go right to the Play Store. If you have an Android phone, if you have an iPhone, go to the App Store. Download the Trust Wallet. Okay? That's what it looks like. Now, this is the Wallet Connect that I'm going to use to connect it through Shiba Swap. That's how the Trust Wallet works. And also, I can purchase Ethereum right on the Trust Wallet as well. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. Now, the first thing I want to do is connect the wallet. I'm going to go to Wallet Connect, and then I'm going to scan this. I'm going to scan this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Go right here. You see that? And I'm going to scan. Actually, this is pretty cool. <laughs> see if I can do this. Uh, uh. See if I might have to move this a little bit. There we go. And it says connect. We're going to connect it. And look at this. Swap Shiba. I tell you, man, this channel is fantastic. I'm showing you guys step by step. But anyway, I'm getting all excited. So look, it says this connected to Shiba Swap. Here's the address and all that jazz. Okay. All right. The next thing is, is that now I'm plugged in through here. So this Ethereum is feeding off the trust wallet. It's feeding off the trust wallet. Now, of course, if you want to, if you want to purchase Shiba, you're gonna need Ethereum. Or you can also swap it. So many different things you can do. You can swap it, but in this case, we're going to swap it for Ethereum. And so we got Ethereum right there, and all we got to do is go find Shiba. Let's go find the Shiba. Go find the Shiba. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna find the Shiba. And here we go. And the maximum I can buy Shiba is this amount right here with my Ethereum wallet. Now let me go back to the trust wallet and I'll show you. It's a disconnect. This okay, so I'll have to disconnect it to show you where you can buy Ethereum. But let me go ahead and get this first and I'll show you where you can buy Ethereum. I already had Ethereum already in my trust wallet already. And so let me go ahead and swap this. And this is through my wallet connect. And this is the theory I'm getting. Confirm. Let me see if I have enough gas fees to cover this transaction. I don't know yet, but let me see. So now it's saying I have to approve it. Let me go ahead. It's saying I have to approve. Just showing you that. And then also, let me show you here. I have to approve. That's the transaction. So I approved that. Woof, it's all done. Now, this works through the Trust Wallet, through Wallet Connect, and connects to Shiba Swap, and we just purchased some Shiba. So, that's what we just did there. And there we go. I'm gonna double check something real fast. All right, so I'm connected. So I'm gonna go and see, I'm gonna check it out. Hold on, it says connect. So, oh, I gotta connect. I gotta reconnect it. Let me reconnect it. Wallet connect. Uh, I gotta reconnect it. So I'm gonna go back again, just like I showed you before. I'm going to scan it. Move this again. Connects to trust wallet. So. It is a process doing all this. I tell you, it's a lot of patience. So what happened is I got out of it. Now I'm going back into it. And so now I am going to, I am going to, I'm going to redo this. I'm going to redo this. 
I went back out to check something out and I have to go back in. So let me reconnect back to the wallet connect and very okay. I'm gonna leave this okay. All right, so I'm gonna go back while it connect. There we go. I am reconnected again. Took a couple of minutes, I guess, on the study, and I'll show you what it looks like. Make sure it looks like this. <laughs> Make sure it looks like this. You may have to scan it, the QR code, once or twice. I had to do it twice to get back in, but I did get signed in okay. And so I'm good to go there. Um, now, on this wallet, on this wallet, I don't have anything here. On this wallet, I have nothing here. Now, on the Coinbase wallet, I have majority of my stuff through ShibaSwap. Now, through the Wallet Connect, I'm basically starting completely fresh. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to 100% stake all this. I'm going to see if I can stake all of this. I'm going to just stake it. And basically, on the Wallet Connect, I'm basically going to just keep it. Let's see if I can um, approve that. I think I got to go here. Improve. Approve. Okay, go back. I gotta go back. So I'm gonna go here. Wallet connect. I have to go back for a minute. So, so what I'm gonna do is can I'm gonna stake all. I'm gonna stake all this. Then I'm gonna approve it. Staking it. So that's what's happening right now. It is Barry Shiba Swap. And let me show you right here what it looks like. Barry Shiba Swap. That's what's happening right now. And you're seeing this in real time. Sometimes you may have to, you know, take patience. I had to get back in, go back out, because you got to make sure your trust wallet and your wallet connect is connecting with Shiba Swap. Um, I do like this. It does take some time to kind of get used to the process. So just be patient with it. It's going to be just, just fine. And so right now it's pending. We'll see what happens with these pending charges. Approve and then enter dog yard. We'll see what happens there. But I do like the trust wallet. I do like the functionality in it. Um, you can use pancake swap. That's how I got the Ethereum. It's getting right, right through. Um, no, I didn't get the pancake swap through Ethereum. I just bought Ethereum right from the trust wallet. So I didn't have to do the pancake swap. The pancake swap doesn't really mix in with all this. Here you go. You got success. It's all done there. And you got one more pending charge. So no, I bought Ethereum outright. And I'll show you where that's at in here in a few minutes. When I come back out of it, I'll show you how I got Ethereum right through the trust wallet. If you want to know, I bought the, I bought the Ethereum before I connected with the Shiba swap. So I just connected with Shiba Swap through the Wallet Connect, and and I, when I connected with it, then I just did the swap Ethereum for Shiba, and then now we're burying the Shiba, and so that's what we're gonna. That's what we're doing now. Everything is good, success, red success, and that's all staked. So all this is staked here. So we are staking all of this at this particular time, and so we're ex we're excited about that. So that's how that is. So we're burying this. We're just going to bear it while it connect. We may use it as for some other training sessions as well. Now, let me show you where I, how I got Ethereum from Wallet Connect. Now, I'm, I'm out of the circulation, so I'm not connected right now. It says Connect Wallet. And I just want to show you where I got this at. So if you're not familiar with it, wait, what I did was Ethereum is right here. And I, I clicked on Buy. And then I go to here, simple. I go to this one right here, simplex. It's just simple and much easier. And that's how I bought Ethereum. That's it. And then you can put the number you want. So let's say I want $50, simplex, next. And then you just kind of follow the prompts from there. And then after that, it just kind of redirects you to your bank account information. And you go from there. And that's how I got it. That's how I got it. 
And then what happens is it'll go right into here. It'll land right in here. That's Ethereum. So I only have $4.56 left uh, from that transaction. So that's how I got it. Don't worry about the Shiba Inu Dogecoin. Don't worry about that. That's not real. So what's going to happen? I'm going to take that off. You can actually go up to the top here and take some of this stuff off. That is not real. I don't even know how that got there. Let's see if I can find it. So I'm turning that off. See how I turn that off? And flick back. So now you don't see that on here. You don't see that on there as well. So I'm not connected. That's probably that I'm not connected at all. And so that's probably why you're not seeing anything in terms of the X sheep and the berry and all that stuff. What happens is when I go to connect, wallet connect, and when I go back here and I scan it, I'll show you. And I go back to let wallet connect. And then when I scan it, let me back this up a little bit. It says Barry Shiba Swap wants to connect to your wallet. You connect with it, and it's all and it, there you go. It just says Barry. So basically, it's saying your Shiba Swap is Barry. It's not as detailed as the Coinbase wallet, in my opinion. I prefer the Coinbase wallet, but because it's more detail. I love the details with that. So that's the training of how to buy Shiba or Bone or Leash through Shiba Swap. You just swap it out. I swapped it out with Ethereum, and then I went ahead and buried it all <laughs> through the Wallet Connect Trust Wallet Shiba Swap. My name is Adam Shelton, and thank you for watching this video today. For more Shiba Swap tutorials, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And of course, in the links in the description, I've got information on how you can buy outright Shiba and also Leech and also Bone, I believe. And I'll see you on the next video. I do have a really cool video coming up. Probably going to drop that out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you on the next video.